Beaver, that they've let us Beaver tents up, oh, because you guys are here. That's pretty much a guarantee. And um, I just, I'm, I really don't like how people are getting treated down here, including myself. We've had to throw out all our, all our belongings repeatedly. They don't care how they treat us, they don't care what happens to us. <coughs> they usually have my boyfriend, but they took him away. I just want to say that Odessa is not the only person that I've talked to. I've talked to so many people down here in the last little while who have talked about losing their stuff. Everybody, everybody is sick of this summer takedown policy. This is new, this just started a few weeks ago. This is where the police come along every morning and force everybody to take all the tent poles out of their tents so that they can sit beside their tents, maybe mm -hmm. under umbrellas, in the rain. People's stuff is getting Our wet. Is what did you say about it's dampness and mold? The mold and everything gets destroyed right away and we have no way to dry it. We have absolutely no way to dry anything. I've, I've thrown out everything I own repeatedly. I'm, I'm on $200 a month. I don't sell drugs. I don't hook. So I don't have a way to get my things back. And there's, and there's not enough, I mean, sure there's, there's uh, donations, but not nearly enough to cover what we need. People have expressed to me, a number of people have expressed to me, that there has been thousands of dollars worth of stuff taken from them over oh, the yeah. years. Bylaw enforcement is regularly coming down here, and if you're not sitting right beside your tent, if you leave for five, ten minutes even, it seems like to go eat or to go to the bathroom. Never mind, go out and try to get a job interview with your damp clothes. You're saying I still haven't even gotten my welfare check your, because, your damp clothes. because of this. I, I, still, I, I haven't even gotten my welfare check yeah. because of this because I'm afraid to go down and get it. Yeah. So what do you want? What do you want? Help. I'm, In what I mean, way? In what way? Because uh, the police are down here for a reason, right? They're down here because the uh, people have been been, threatened. There has like, been an upside to the, having the cops here and the, the medical people here because they have saved a lot of lives. I'll give it that. They have helped in a lot of ways and I've become friends with some of them. But on the flip side, those same officers I've become friends with and the bylaw I've become friends with turn around and take all my, sh all my stuff away. Yeah, but there's l you know? rules here, right? There is, but we're breaking the rules by having the tents on the cement anyways. So, on the sidewalks anyways. But you want to dial it back or, or, I would or like break to, more rules? Well, it'd be, it'd be great if, uh, um, I mean, look at where well, there's, there's buildings like on 104. They've got that empty building for 20 years now. Places like that, I don't know what the rules are, why it's empty. But they could turn that into a homeless shelter. They could, you know, there's places they can have homeless Ooh. shelters. If they don't have a homeless shelter and we're allowed to have our tents up, allow us to have our tents up. Don't take all our stuff away all the time. Don't bully us into, you know, getting rid of everything we own. Mm -hmm. We can't even go eat. Mm -hmm. I go days without eating because I'm afraid they're going to take my stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's everything I have. Everything I have for my kids is all gone now because they threw it all away. And they knew what it was for. They knew it was my kids' belongings or pictures of my kids or anything I had in my family, everything I can possibly remember them by. I don't even have my family's phone numbers anymore because they threw everything out, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, uh, uh, sad story, definitely, but still, I, I mean, know you know, like the safe injection site, somebody mentioned, oh, I, I, I mean, went, those things I aren't built like overnight, right? right? No, they're not, they're not. Yes, they I are. went to the they temporary one they have. Have. Where, has a, where has that been built overnight? They popped one into the downtown inside, it just didn't matter. Who's place. they? Coastal Health. They have a temporary one in the back behind the it's behind small. It's, it's, it's really small. small. It's uh, like it. two, two or three chairs, um, and there's no nurses in it yet. It is there are people who have been experienced this before um, supervising it, but no nurses, no nothing like that. It, there's, it's not an actual safe injection site yet, yeah. and it is overcrowded. So let's can, can we just hold on to the question for a second? And they booted out beds to put it there. Let's. Uh, Thank you so much. We'll ask, we'll oh, Jesse, can we get your name, please? Yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry. What's your name? My name is Peter. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs>